goals in four games now, Tony. What do you give that down to? Missed chances. You know, we've had the opportunities again today, and um, especially against the top teams, you have to take those chances. And we've had three really, really good opportunities today, um, where you'd expect um, expect them to score. But you can't criticise them again. You know, the, my, my one disappointment about um, our performance was the first 20 minutes in the second half, and I thought that uh, obviously they scored bang on half time, um, a goal that we're disappointed with and disappointed in respect that we think Dawson was fouled. Um, but you know, we still got to obviously defend it. Um, but the reaction coming out the first 20 minutes, we that was the first time you know you look at it and certain players were doing their own thing rather than doing it for the team. And Liverpool picked us off and, and could have scored again. Um, but f you know, full credit to the players. I thought the last 20 minutes we stepped it up again. And you know, Matty's chance. Obviously, you're, you're hoping for for a chance to drop to to you know him and and you know. They said the keeper made a good save. Matt, Matt he could have done better with it. Maybe. You disappointed with Foster that the Antonio going up for the corner? And... No, I've just had a chat with him. You know about I don't like goalkeepers going up for corners personally, but um, you know I've never said it to Ben, so he doesn't know. He does now. He does now. Yeah, yeah. There's no goals for those six and the last seven, isn't it? And, yeah. And that's since reaching the forty points. So you worried that the critics will come out again? No, not at all. I know where I am, I know where this club is and, and we've done fantastic and you know for that it's not as though the, the team's not creating opportunities, it's not as though the team's not um, working hard enough, it's not as though the team isn't a team. You know we've played against a, a side today that um, you know, have, a, have a look at what they've got, their resources and what they've got and we've given them a game. You know that's, um, that's what we want to do every game we play, we've played at Manchester United, we've played Arsenal, we've played Liverpool, given every team that I've just mentioned with resources way beyond our dreams, giving them all a game, and that's what I want to do. Will, will a striker, with those limited resources, will a striker be the priority now in the summer? Now, there's, there's lots of priorities. You know, if, if we want to push it on, and we do, then you know we have to um, we try and get better. What uh, this season has proved is that you know we do need that little bit more quality, but we need a little bit more depth in the squad as well, and and that's that's important. Have you had a chat with the Avery's over for this game, hasn't he? No, the, the, his wife is. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So she don't speak much English neither. <laughs> so my Chinese has not got better, John. Okay, thank you. Oh, go on. Just um, the billboards have gone up around the city and on the M6 about how obviously it's the only place in the West Midlands for Premier League football next season. I mean, it sort of reinforces one or two things you've been saying about. Uh, well, Keeping your feet on the ground. The team over the road, isn't it? Well, I, I, like I say, you. you, you <laughs> You know, we're still eighth in the Premier League. With how many games to go? Five, six games to go. So we're not doing too bad. But I mean, that, is that something you want to? Oh well, I I think it's uh, you know it's it's been a great season for West Bromwich Albion, and West Bromwich Albion supporters in this city. Okay, thank you.